Hello everyone. My name is Gaurav Agrawal and today we are going to learn about S3 event notifications. Before we go into the details, if you have still not subscribed to the channel, then please go ahead and subscribe to the same. I have uploaded multiple videos on real world AWS projects and will be creating more such videos. Now, let's say you have a S3 bucket and your users are uploading objects into this bucket. So, S3 has this capability of sending out notifications when an object is either uploaded, updated or deleted. These events can be sent to destination services like SQS, SNS or a lambda function. You might be considering in which scenarios I can use this functionality. So, let's say you have an application where videos can be uploaded and you are uploading this video on a S3 bucket. So, once a video is uploaded in S3, then you might want to check whether there are copyright violations on this video. So, in such situations, the event notifications are helpful where you can trigger a lambda function to process your video. Similarly, a bank wants to figure out if there are fraudulent activities happening on a user account. So, they can download the transactions and upload it to S3 and trigger a event to the SQS queue where a EC2 application can process that file. I can give you multiple such scenarios, but for our project, let's consider this architecture where we have a S3 bucket configured with a SNS topic and that topic is configured with a SQS queue. I have a file which I will upload to this S3 bucket. Now, S3 will generate a notification and send it to SNS. SNS will then send this notification to SQS. I can have an application running on EC2 which can read this notifications from the SQS and process that file. Now, you might be wondering why do I need SNS here? I can directly connect SQS with my S3 bucket. The reason for having SNS is to provide extensibility. So, let's say if you want multiple applications or services to process this single notification, then SNS will help you in such scenario. I can create a separate lambda function and SNS can forward the same notification to both SQS and also to the lambda. A SNS and a SQS is a deadly combo where you want extensibility. So, the steps to perform this project will be, we will create a SQS queue. First, then we will create a SNS topic and we will configure SNS to talk with SQS. Then we will create a S3 bucket and we will configure the SNS topic policies to communicate with the S3 bucket. So, let's quickly go and perform a hands on activity for this particular project. I have logged into my AWS account and I am currently into the S3 service. Now I will first create a bucket. You will have to give a unique name to a bucket and just select the default options and create this bucket. Bucket got created. Now I will go into a different tab and type SNS and open the SNS service. 
once you have opened sns then let's create a sns topic i will select a standard sns topic and give it a name s3 event topic and we will use the default options and create this topic let's open another tab and type sqs in the search bar and open the sqs service we will create a queue now use a standard fifo queue give a name s3 test queue select all the default options and let's create this queue once we have created these three resources we will need to provide permissions to these services to talk with each other so for the sns topic to get the notifications from s3 we will need to have we will need to set a access policy so click on edit on the sns topic and let's open the access policy but before yeah okay now we will copy the sns arn from here to a control c and then delete this entire string i will go to my github repository where i have saved this access policy so this is the access policy to allow sns to access my s3 bucket so i will put the arn over here and i will just copy and paste this particular string i will replace the arn from here and i will paste the arn of my sns topic now i need the arn of my s3 bucket so i will go to my s3 bucket click on the bucket under properties i should be able to get the arn of my s3 bucket let's go back to the sns uh, to the github tab and paste the arn of the s3 bucket the account id you can get it from here only copy that account id and paste it over here now let's copy this entire policy go back to our sns topic and paste this policy just verify whether everything looks good this is the topic this is my bucket and this is the account id and i will save this change now for my sqs queue to get the messages from the sns topic i have to do the same thing i have to edit the access policy of my sqs queue so i will go to my queue there is a tab called as access policy click on that tab and edit this policy again we will copy the arn from here of the queue and let's delete this entire policy go back to this github repository and i will share these policies in the description section so i will give my risk, my arn of my queue you will have to give the arn of your topic go back to your sns topic and you will get the arn from there copy it and paste it in this section now this is done let's copy this and paste it in the sqs access policy and let's save this the last thing now is to go back to our s3 bucket and configure the event notification for that i will have to go into the properties tab of the bucket scroll down and you will see a section of event notification let's create a event notification give it a name create events scroll down and you will see event type now s3 is capable of sending out events for different types if a object is created and if you want those events select this 
if you need removal or restore events you have to select the appropriate one i will just select the create events scroll down and i will select my destination if i want my destination to be sns topic and i will choose that sns topic from my list and save the changes if you have specified the access policy correctly you will not get any error otherwise you will see a error over there this looks all good now the last step is to go back to our objects tab and try to upload a object on our bucket i will add a file select a file from your local machine and i have selected this file with name emails.txt and i will click on upload now once this file is uploaded then ideally s3 should create a event send it to sns and from sns it should go to sqs so if i go to my sqs under queues tab i should be able to see one message in my queue we have still not received the message in our queue which means that we have made a mistake let's go back and check it seems for the sns we have not created a subscription ideally the sqs is a subscriber of my sns topic so we will need to create a subscription i will select protocol as sqs and endpoint as my sqs queue and then i will create a subscription so the sns topic will push messages to multiple subscribers we can create multiple subscribers over here and sqs queue is one of the subscribers you can create a lambda as another subscriber a email service as another surprise, surprise, uh, subscriber like that you can create multiple such subscribers in the sns topic with this change we will go back to our s3 bucket and try to upload another file and see whether it makes any difference i will go back to the upload tab select add files and i will select a small file and click on upload the name of the file is bookmarks so i will just go ahead and upload this file let's go back into our queue and try to do a refresh now and we see one message which is available here if you want to see the details of the message click on the queue go to send and receive messages and under receive messages click on poll for messages this will poll the messages and you will see one message over here click on that link and you will see that there is a notification and there are details like amazon s3 notification and if you scroll down below somewhere you should see the name of the file so this is the name of the file bookmarks.html with a size of 62 kb so this is how the s3 event notification works and we have verified that when we have uploaded a file from s3 it travels from s3 to sns and then to a sqs i think that's all for this particular project don't forget to delete the resources and if you like this video then definitely go ahead and click on the like button on the youtube channel thank you and have a good day